Sorghum is a robust and drought-tolerant crop grown throughout the semi-arid tropics. Farmers in Africa and Asia use sorghum grain for food and stalks as feed for their animals, as well as building materials and fuel for cooking. Unfortunately, in farmers' fields in Africa, sorghum yields are often less than one ton of grain per hectare, while it's possible to harvest more than three tons per hectare. Besides soil fertility, drought, weeds and insects, variable stand density and missing planting holes are also important causes of low yields. Making sure that your crop stand has the appropriate density is key to achieving a good yield. So increasing plant populations by reducing the row to row and planting hole to planting hole distance is an early and key step to achieving a uniform crop stand and a high yield. On the other hand, when plants are too close to each other, this can hamper good crop development. The plants will be thin and will be susceptible to diseases and pests such as the parasitic weed Striga. So, to get strong plants and a good yield, it's essential to sow the crop at the appropriate density and to avoid sowing too many seeds per planting hole. Creating an optimal density of your sorghum crop is the first requirement to attaining a good yield. Make sure the seed has high germination and sow the planting holes at about five to eight seeds per planting hole. Maintain a distance of 30 to 40 centimeters between planting holes and 70 centimeters between rows. Re-sow missing planting holes within three weeks after sowing. From three weeks after sowing onwards, observe your fields and determine whether and where it's necessary to thin and or transplant. Thin planting holes to two plants per planting hole and keep the thinned plants. Select the healthy and vigorous plants for transplanting and cut off leaves just above the growing tip to improve establishment. Transplant two plants per planting hole into missing planting holes. Let's listen to a farmer from Wakoro village in Mali who's convinced of the advantage of thinning and transplanting. It is a good practice because the field you see here was thinned and transplanted and that is why these panicles are big like this.